Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to set up a website using the Wix platform. Simple steps to get you started and create a stunning website in a matter of minutes. If you have any questions on the process, put them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe so that I can keep on making these videos for you. We're going to jump straight into it now and the first thing we do is open our browser. We go to wix.com and we get started. Click on sign up and type in your email address. Note on the right hand side, you have continue with Facebook or continue with Google. If you are anticipating setting up a an email address for you in the future that will be linked to this website in any way, I would suggest using the continue with Google and setting up a Gmail account. Wix works hand in hand with the Gmail account and links it to your domain when, if and when you wish to go that route. For the free website, all you need is an email. So like me, you can put in an email address and create an account or you can create it with your Google. I personally always use the Google option. We then click on sign up and Wix wants to know a few things about you. Please note whatever you do at the beginning of this process, isn't life threatening in any way. If there's something you put in that you're not happy with, it can always be changed later down the line. There is nothing that can't be customized on a Wix platform website. So let's do it. I want to create a site for myself, a client, a company I work for, someone else. You can fill that in or you can hit skip button. And we go straight to two options. You can either let the ADI create a website for you, an automated website based on a few selections that you make. For example, a color palette that you prefer or a font that you prefer. You will be asked a series of questions, why you will use this website, what it will be used for and what your preferences are with color, et cetera, et cetera or you can create your website with the Wix editor. If you do go the ADI route, you can still edit that website using the Wix editor later. So whichever option you take, you can still make the changes later on. What we're going to do today is use the create your website with the Wix editor so that no matter which route you take, you know what the processes are and you know the Wix platform itself. So we click on choose a template. So here Wix excels with so many amazing templates for you to choose from. If you look down the left hand side, there's everything from business, creative arts and landing pages. You can simply choose one and then customize it to what you need. I would always recommend looking at the type of websites that you really like. Do a bit of browsing and see what you actually like in a website. Do you like a bright website? Do you like one with lots of imagery? Do you like one that is more product based, for example? So you can either again, we had two choices before. We have two choices again now. You can either choose a template that you love and change that template or you can create a blank website. So start with a blank canvas. What we're going to do today is start with the blank canvas because the platform itself and what I will be showing you today will mean that you can hop over even if you have done a template, you can use what I'm giving you today to change that template to the way 
you want it to be. So no matter whether you choose template or blank, you can still use this video tutorial to create the website that you want that you yearn for. So I'm going to blank templates here. If you were using a template, you would simply click on it. You can view if you like to, to get an idea of what this looks like and click then either edit this site or you can just return back to where you were before, which is here. It's opened up a new browser. So we'll just close that browser down and we will head to blank templates. And again, we have more options. We can either choose a super duper from scratch or the blank templates. Now the blank templates are basically a drag and drop and you can put in the imagery, et cetera, the text, et cetera, that you like. I'm going to show you from scratch and the techniques you need that will also help you with those blank templates. So basically, if you watch this video, you will know how to work with blank templates and you will know how to work with templates and you will know how to work with the ADI created website. So super duper from scratch. Welcome to Wix. We don't need the video there. And you have a blank page. The important thing to understand is that there is nothing that you can do wrong here. In fact, if you do do something that you consider is even remotely wrong, you can just either delete it or we have a lovely back button and undo button at the top right hand side. So never be concerned. What you note in front of you is you have a header area, which when you hover on it changes a different color. You have the main website area and then you have the footer area. All three are customizable. What you enter into the header will go on every page. What you enter into the footer will go on every page. And the main bit here is where your content will be for the main explaining what you do, who you are and how wonderful you are or showing your products and portfolios perhaps. So on a website, there are a few fundamental things that we need. We need to know what this website is, who it's for. We need to know what pages belong to this. If you check any website, let's nip to the cardgeek.co.uk. So any website usually has a menu which shows you, excuse my, <laughs> excuse my pop up. That's called a light box and will be in a further tutorial. But on the right hand side here on my page, you see my menu and this is where people navigate from information to information. Have a look at All Star Space. And on All Star Space, we have our home, tech, contact and blog and that's your menu. On the left hand side, we have what the page is and our social links. Again, if you nip back to mine, you have your what the page is and I have my social links further down. So our pages are slightly different, but quite easy to navigate. And that's what I like personally, something that's easy to navigate. So now we want to replicate that on our header and footer here, which will be on every page of your website. On the left hand side is the area in which you will spend the most time on this particular video tutorial, we will deal with menus and pages, the background and adding. They're the three main buttons that you need on this platform. The menus and pages show you what pages you have. So like Jens on All Star Space, he has a tech page. You may have a page that's about you or a shop or a blog, for example. So that's where you will see all your different pages lining up and the add page at the bottom will simply add another page. So we need to find a menu. We don't have a menu. We have one page and no menu. So we go to our add button and the add is where 
all the content is. This is where everything is. We will run through this really super quickly because it's a simple case of knowing what you are looking for. Obviously text, we will be putting some text in soon. Images are obviously images. You have your own images that you can upload or there are so many free Wix images of super high quality that can be used too. Gallery puts in lots of photos into a pretty template. So you can show off how, what wonderful photos you've taken, for example. Vector Art puts these illustrations on if you wish to add any illustrations. Shape adds a little shape. Interactive, we have slideshows that we can drag onto our website and we can customize any way we wish to show our content. Buttons. Buttons are our call to action. So buttons are the buy now, find out more, join me kind of <laughs> calls to actions. Our boxes are a splash of color. So the boxes can create a splash of color behind anything, behind an image, text, etc. Strips, I love personally. Strips are full page website strips. They literally are a strip and they usually contain a photo and some text. It is a like a header or a splash across the page so that something is highlighted. A particular part or service that you offer is highlighted. For example, we have about us, contact details, how to get in touch, a brand image, like a welcome at the top of your page. Hey, look at me spread across the top. And then the product services here also. These are particularly nice. Our team where you can put and each picture that you click on will have more information on the other side. So a strip is highlighting information. Lists and grids is also a highlight of information just in a different format. And again, we have a team view, if you like, where you can have a picture of somebody and their bio next to it. Video, we can add in our YouTube videos. Oh, we'll be doing that shortly. Music, if you wish to add music our social buttons, which are super important, obviously, contact boxes and menu. We're finally down where I want to be. Remember, I started talking about the menu. The rest that are on that list, I will do in a separate tutorial. Today, let's add our menu. You choose any menu you like, and once you've dragged it, it can be customized too. So you're not dragging something that is the final product if you're not 100% great about it. So I'll drag over this nice, simple one to the right-hand side. And as you see, this is my header, and I can change the side of that but we only have one page. We need more pages, don't we? A lot of websites actually today have the one page that scrolls down and uses anchors. That's another uh, video. But pages are a way to navigate at the top and people feel that they get a crisp piece of information out of each page. So you go to your menus and pages and you add a page. I'm going to say, contact. We want people to contact us. We'll add another one. Videos. So you see automatically a little more box has come up because I've made this small. I just drag it and I get it to where I want it to be. And you see the videos is highlighted. It means I'm already on the videos page. Home, contact and videos. So to go back to my main page, which is always your home page, I go back here and you see home is highlighted. You can change this design to any you want, anything that suits you. And then you can also customize by changing the fill color at the back, text, shadow, could have input color, and then change the highlight color as well. 
So everything that I'm showing you today is customizable. When you do it yourself, you can change the font, for example. You can change anything within that box to look like how you want it to look. We also want our, excuse me, we go to add. We want our website to have a bit of an identity. So let's add a title. Look at all those amazing fonts you can have. Let's see what the romantic title looks like. And already you can see the website is forming. The card geek. I wrote guard, didn't I? The card geek. That's quite nice. It's actually quite nice that. I like that. Um, What header would be complete without... Excuse me, go to add again. Our social menu. Social, let's get our social menu in. And remember, anything you put in header goes on every single page. So now let's customize our social links. As you see, they've automatically chosen a set of social links for you. You can go to the right and add icons. For example, Snapchat isn't in there. LinkedIn isn't in there. I can remove Tumblr. What is super important is that you highlight the social link you are setting. You go to the link here and you change it to your social link. So now I'll go to Twitter. Click on there and change Wix. It always automatically goes to Wix. Change it to the Card Geek. And YouTube again. Pinterest, you can find me everywhere. And you want your audience to find you everywhere. So make sure your links, Instagram here, make sure you, all your links have been updated. I nearly put Instagram then. The car geek. And as you see, before I close it there, we've put in the link, but we've also here automatically goes to new window. You can change that to current window if you wish, but I always think it's better that it opens up a separate window so people don't leave your website. And then you just press done at the bottom right hand side. So now we have a super duper setup with our social icons. I can pull my footer down now so I get a full page of web and we can start adding to our main website here. As I said, the strips are super good at adding highlights. So if you're wanting a strip, if you're wanting to highlight a particular thing that you do well, it's always good to have a strip up on the first. You can, again, customize anything. I'm actually going to take the text out, delete that text. I am going to change the strip background because I want it to have my image. So I clicked on image. You can actually, sorry, I'll go back. You can actually choose any of the Wix images too. They have videos that run as well, if you wish. You can just have a plain color and put some text over it. But I am choosing to do an image. And here I'm going to upload my own image. Okay, so I go to the image that I want to pull in there and I just drag and drop. It's as simple as that. Any images you want on your website, all you have to do is drag and drop. Everything is what you see is what you get. It's that simple. And look, there she is. You see, it's a bit darker than my usual website. You know why? Because they have a background on here. If I go to change strip background again, you see the dark bit there? Click on that. Put it white. 
And then I go to my settings because we have, there you go, that's better. We have an opacity on. Okay, that looks better already. This isn't my, uh, it isn't my high quality image. So I'll get my bigger image and put that one on. That's much better, much clearer. So now we have something that looks like we're getting to a website and we've only done a few steps there. I've taken it extra slow for you, but you could actually do this a lot quicker. If you would like, like I do, to have the header on every single page, you can right click and show on all pages. And now when I go to contact, it's there. When I go to videos, it's there. So I already have three pages with a header on. I definitely need some content now. So let's have a look. I know this is slightly different to my website. I am just showing this was all done on Wix. Let's copy and paste this and see if we can replicate. So we want, excuse me, we want some text on to tell them a little bit about what we do. You can drag and drop anywhere you wish, change the size of the box. And I am just going to paste, it's all a little bit too big, there we go, all a little bit too small. And I'm going to justify because I can't look at text that isn't justified. So then you can change the title to whichever you wish, a little bit larger, maybe the blue, similar blue color to what I have. And you can obviously change the rest if you so wish. I do it in the center here because these two lines show how it works well on laptops, desktops, and mobile. We'll go into mobile shortly. So now we have that and you see I've got some links in here. They've automatically taken up the links from my website. But if you wish to put a link on any of your text, we can highlight the text click on link, it will automatically choose a page here. Look, if we look there, you can choose it for, for a page for it to go to. But on this occasion, we're going to choose a web address and we're going to choose www.thecardgeek.co.uk, done. And we've automatically got a link in there to my website. What we shall do now is take our nice pointer. <laughs> what we'll do now is go up and press save. It's important to keep saving how far you've got along. Sometimes things go wrong with internet, you never know. So clicking on save will never hurt anything. And as you see, the first time that you click on save, you will get the choose a domain to save your site. This is because Wix gives you the option to have a free site or which is hosted on the, you see you get the wixsite.com website or you can purchase a customized domain like my domain, thecargeek.co.uk or allstarspace.com. So you can choose one of those two options. If you choose the free site, you can always later then choose a domain if you wish to. So it's great actually to get a site set up all fully free and working and then purchase the domain. So it is then ready, if you like, all ready to go up. So what you can do is you can't change the first bit of the free site, but you can change the end bit. So I can change instead of my site to Tony Pula and save and continue. Now my site is saved. It's not published and published means live on a website. It is simply saved. So I press done. 
And up at the top right, you also see you have the option to preview this. What will this page look like if it goes live? And there we go. It's a bit busy, that writing for me. I think that needs to be less busy. But then you go back to editor. It's not live yet. It's only live once you press publish. And if you are on the free sites, there's no reason you can't publish every single time rather than pressing save. So let's put an image in here again, just to add a little bit of interest. See what we have available to us. And any image can be shaped, sized, resized. You can also click on settings or design. The, the design can put it in different frames, for example. So there's all kinds of customizable options that are super easy peasy just by clicking on what you have dragged and dropped. We need a card image, don't we? Let's see what Wix has. So we go to image, free Wix images, and let's put in tarot. And we have some images of a tarot deck. So you can obviously then snap it to the same size as the other one. So it looks neat. And you have a little bit more content. We still haven't done our footer. So we have a strip, we have images, we have text. There are so many options on your add button here I've shown you already. And we are going to add a subscription box now so that everybody who comes to your website can subscribe and you can capture their information. That means it's important that for when you move on to blogging, etc., because the Wix blog has the capability to send out automatic notifications via email every blog you release. So let's have a look at our social, sorry, contact. Down here we have our subscribe button. So I drag and drop a subscribe button. Please subscribe to me. I will close that. We don't need that. And again, like everything, you get your options available to you. You can change this to any color you wish. You can change it to a different layout. We can customize the design by changing it to a different color so it fits better. The button badge size. And the text coloring, size, input color, that would be here, for example. You can even change the message that you give out every time you get a submission. So for example, here it would say automatically, if somebody enters, it will automatically say, thanks for subscribing. And you can change that to, to read whatever you wish it to read. Add element means that you can ask for more information. You can ask for their first name, last name, for example. Our settings we've just been through. Manage subscribers that we don't need now, but that's how you see who has subscribed. You will also get an email every time somebody does subscribe. And our manage fields, we've only asked for email, but we can also ask for first name, for example. So you would have a first name, last name, if you wanted there. So we will leave it at that. As you can see, I can even change that around a little bit. There we go. And again, we can save. So our first page is looking quite website-like. 
why not go to contact now? It's not finished by any means. We haven't done our footer. It looks a little bare in places, but we will go to contact and we will add how to get in touch with us. The contact forms are wonderful for collecting information. They're also wonderful for potential customers or people, media wanting to get in touch with you or any kind of contact. We also have more down here. So if it's not just enough that somebody should contact you and they should be able to find you, you can add Google Maps so they can find you. Change address. Munich, Germany. Let's see what happens. And there we go. We have Munich. And now let's add our contact box. You can put the full address in there and people can find you exactly where you are. Drag that down. So get in touch. And save. And the get in touch again is fully customizable. You can change it any way you wish. So we have a home page, we have a contact page. Should we have a video page? Absolutely. We want people to see our YouTube videos. So we go to video and we choose our YouTube option. Wix does have the functionality that you can upload to Wix itself. So you can actually upload your videos direct to the Wix website. But for YouTube now, I copy and paste because I want more than one. And anything on this platform, you can just copy and paste. Shove that one down, another one in, and another one in. And it would be pretty boring if we had this Wix website on there or Wix video. So we will go to YouTube and we will put in myself. Oops, the card geek. That's my one that's going to be coming up. Sorry, and you go to the Car Geek. <laughs> Sorry, you go to your website, your, excuse me, you go to your YouTube channel. So you get the YouTube link for any video that you wish to be shown. Change video, paste the link, and it automatically comes up. We can do it quite simply here, get shareable link. And you see the website start changing and taking shape. Oh, I clicked publish there. So I guess we have to <laughs> go through what that does. Clicking publish automatically publishes the website to the free website address that you have chosen. There's mine. And all it does is simply put it live. So if you go to view site, you now can see the website is live. I can click on contact and I can click on videos. And as you see, it's all there. We have a website. If we go back to the editor now, a few finishing points just to get the basic website out there. We have our bottom here, our footer is empty. What should we put in there? Well, we can put our Google Maps in there, of course. We can put a final subscription button in there. You can put a little bit of text, uh, your terms and conditions, if you like. Anything that you feel is needed at the bottom. I have obviously a subscribe button and just my email address and then the copyright. 
notice. Let's have a look at All Star Space. And Jens has social links and copyright All Star Space. So it really depends on what you want, but a little bit of text. I always like a good subscribe button. So at the bottom, we can change the bottom so it looks a little bit different if we like. That's a change background, but the change footer design, you can change to any color if you like and customize the design. I like it the same as the rest or a little, tiny little bit different. Change footer design again. You can right click on anything and change that. We'll add a little bit of text. Sorry, text. Drag it down into the footer and And there we have a little bit of a footer. I'll change it a little bit so people know it's a footer. Let's customize the design because they're all a little bit too much. We want the one that spreads all the way across, which is that. And we want the background to be a little bit like that. And I will change the foreground too. So we're all one color. Nice. Publish again. It's gone up to the main website and we're done. We are done. Let's have a look at our website itself. Sorry, I'll publish it again. Click on view site and look at that. It's not bad for a little bit of time spent on your computer. Get in touch. Videos. There's a lot more obviously you can put on there. We are going to create a blog on the Wix website and we're going to go through how you get that blog to be sent through to all your subscribers, which you will have. Let's have a look. I am going to quickly add a blog here so that when we move on to the next tutorial, you know what you are working with. So we click on start blogging, create a stunning blog, yeah. add now. Yes, I will. Thank you very much, Wix. And then we wait for it to process. It creates a new page for your blog and get started. As you see, they've put some simple blogs in there because I've got a header here. We can see something's hiding behind. There we go. So it's created three blogs for you already that you can customize. You can change to any blog you like or you can start your own blog from fresh using the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment and check in for the next installment, which will explain how to manipulate the mobile view of your website and make sure it performs beautifully on every mobile device.